the body is a very beautiful technology it creates a heaven on earth now you got the four elements you got the fire earth water and air also working with the body's highest intelligence as i told you the highest intelligence of the body comes from the head which holds the pineal gland which is the one that gives us the illusion of us having a life here which is nothing but a significant dream that's so slow but it's so fast as a mental thought that we're having so now the body is connected to the earth right you can see with the brown skin it's obvious but what are we getting from this earth firstly the technology of the body has prints fingerprints see those fingerprints they connected in a way that there's patterns that when you put your foot on the ground the floor especially the earth let me say the earth those things they are wired up to take the electromagnetic frequency of the earth to the body through the feet by the nervous system and transport it all the way to your brain to give you information about what's going on in the earth what do you think healers get information from about what your body what do you think uh witchcraft get information about while they're far away there's no air time <laughs> that's how they do it they use the earth the elements now element number four is earth well they, they don't have numbers <clears throat> but uh, the earth element you see and you inside the earth you find capricorn you find taurus you find Virgo. now capricorn is an action planet or energy which houses what Capricorn house is what? It deals with the what? The bones, the structure. Do you understand what's going on? Now let me take you on a little bit of, of a trip here. Once Capricorn houses the bones, it's high, it houses the body's structure. So the information is going to make the bodies become aware inside throughout its information. Now the next one is water sign. We've got water sign. The second element is a water sign. Now the body has blood as well. Now the body's blood is con connected with the waters. So once you pass the earth, you go into the water. Now the water moves quicker, right? Than the earth, right? Earth stuff. You're walking and you're swimming. When you're swimming, you're more, you're more volatile. You're more like in a rhythm than walking. So it's, 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 a, it's a more fluid part of you. So when you're talking about the water, so I'm talking about the information that's communicated through the earth. Now it hits the blood see when this information now hits the blood it changes everything now you're talking to the dream that you are supposed to be living the blood assures you that your blood has dna that's why i'm talking like this your blood houses dna inside dna you find what genes this is where the reincarnation process of why you don't know what's going on most of the time why you're doubting your stuff most of the time they come from your blood your thoughts are also coming from your blood. Well, your heart, which is supposedly pumping blood. Right? So, once you're talking about the blood, we're talking about something very serious. Very, very serious. You will know. You know blood. All the movies is blood. Vampire movies, horror movies, blood spillage, blood everywhere. You know why they do that? You understand? They're showing you something. They're not just showing blood spillage, cutting blood everywhere. They're showing you the importance, the importance of the human body. It's a big symbolism in movies, how they use blood. They're showing you the importance of how this connects even the dream that they make movies with. That's why they, they're so sure when they spill blood on movies. Because they know it's a dream. That's why they're trying to show it so much. Because they know it belongs to the blood. Next, we've got air side. The air energy now comes to the mental thinking now all the blood that you've been affected through the earth it's giving us information that we're going to eventually understand in mental form or in language which is where the thoughts come from now the air signs so let me give you the water signs you've got pisces you got cancer then you have uh pisces cancer and what's the other water sign yeah go check it out then with air signs you have them air signs that we have we have aquarius we have gemini and we have libra now we're talking about signs that actually articulate thought so thought comes from the blood the blood comes from the heart see and the heart is only giving thoughts that are coming from reincarnation parts of who we are 
so this is the second element okay now once you get the mental structure functioning on a aquarian that's mental function on a libra that's mental function on a uh what's the other one that i mentioned yes that's thoughts so your mind is plugged into its own thoughts from its own dream so the heart controls the heart the heart controls the blood that controls the thoughts these thoughts are coming from the same place which is the blood you get it because the, it's a continuous continuum of thought thought is the fastest thing that comes here right so now we get fire the next is a fire sign what are you talking about when you're talking about fire signs now we're talking about the nature the, the character the character that the body is going to have the spirit the character of the spirit now we're talking about the fire when you're talking about the fire we're talking about these words they're going to have fire this word this body is going to have fire so you meaning that the fire of the heart you, you hear stories about the fire of the heart this and that about the fire of the heart talking like this you understand what they mean when they're talking about passing through the fire of the heart your heart gets tested to pass through itself so it can be as light as a feather or heavy as blood so the the fire comes from the spirit that the air has articulated so now you're sending energy back you're talking inside your body you whether you're arguing whether you are angry whatever you're saying inside your body that's the fire that's inside the blood so now it's a spiritual part now when you talk about fire you're talking about the work of the spirit you understand now this is the fire side there's an element of fire so you have earth water air and fire now the fire sign guarantees that you are here on a mission because it's a spirit now when you're talking about fire signs we're talking about signs that give the thoughts power give the thoughts a mission intuition emotion so that you can perform the daily living of what you're here for so when you talk about fire signs we're talking about leo we're talking about uh sagittarius you're talking about aries so these energy centers they bring the spirit or the mental thoughts they give it fire then these mental thoughts are judged either you have mental thoughts as i said light as a feather or heavy as blood so now you know what you're here for you know what you're here to do all right so that's how it is my beautiful friends that's how the four elements are connected to the body now there's four heavens they're also connected to the chakra system in which your soul is divinely connected to so if you're here to do a divine work that's why they call indigos and star seeds these are kids or energies or souls that are caught up in divine energies only that means they're here to ascend they're here to know more about their soul more than anything else that's going on that's the reason why i'm here because i know there's people like me out here who are trapped inside their own thoughts or inside their own fire their own spirit and they cannot understand and we give each other light okay so these are the four elements that are connected to the body which is the heavens okay now the chakra system is a system of energy that's coiled inside the body inside the body it's represented by what you call uh what do you call these things hormones yes hormones are getting released so you get like dopamines and all that now these are stimulants in your body they're also part of why the brain functions faster or slower so now once you understand this part of hormones and you understand the spiritual part it becomes easier to access your your, your own thoughts and see if they've been affected by which part of your own hormonal status sometimes you have sexual thoughts in your head running you understand which hormone is that which chakra is that that's the root meaning that you don't feel safe you need 